Well, a very good afternoon. I'm John Keir, and this is Stockport County Live. Having been forced to take a break from league action due to the international fixtures, County lost their top-of-the-table status as Wrexham took advantage of their extra game to leapfrog the Hatters and claim pole position last week. But the enforced break has given manager Dave Challoner the opportunity to bring players back from injury, and as a result, County will be looking to continue their blistering start to life back in League One with a stronger and deeper squad, including Ibi Torre, who's back from international duty with Gambia, and Callum Conley and Teo Adamarola, who are also added to the squad today. I don't think we're going to see a lot of progression down this near touchline from County, particularly in this first half. But we might down the left with Adamarola, who's kept in play, Wooden with a header, couldn't keep it down. But it was a presentable chance for Carl Wooden. Right side of the back three. Here's Adam Roller again, seeing a lot of the ball in these early stages. Out to the left for Barry again. You can see instantly what he wants to do, and he's done it. Comes inside, onto his right, Collar helps it on. Barry, 1 0. The player of the month for August continues his goal scoring vein of form, and he's given County the lead after just five minutes. A typical Barry goal. Will Collar involved in the build-up. County lead 1-0. Yeah, and it's another moment of absolute class from Louis Barry. Crowley Town know exactly what's going to happen. They know the danger, but they can't do anything to stop it. Can they? Big shout out to Will Collar as well, because as Barry comes in from the left-hand side and dances along the touchline, he takes a heavy touch, it runs away from him. But Will Collar has the awareness just to step over the ball, a little dummy. Barry can continue his run onto the ball and the finish. Well, it's what we've come to expect from Louis Barry. Back across the goalkeeper, right into the side net in sensational county lead. Five in six for Louis Barry this season, justifying his selection as player of the month in League Two, in League One, I should say, for uh, August. It certainly is, and uh, they've got uh, their third corner of the day. Again, it's a, a little over hit. Kept alive, though, on the opposite flank by Pan Kamara. But he's got a bit of space to operate in, and he's gone for goal, and Corey Adai couldn't take the chance. Got his fingertips to it. Certainly looked the, the better side, but Crawley have uh, enjoyed prolonged spells of possession. Here's on Yango. Good chance to stride forward for him. Just showed too much of it to Flint, but he gets it back on the ricochet, and Flint recovers in time to make a, what could be a game-saving tackle. Darcy. That's a great turn by Kelly on the wing. Swan. Williams always has his pocket picked by Barry, but then Norwood's clearance comes back off Barry. There's the shot, and it almost found the bottom corner. Good attempt from Kamara, not too far away. Norwood's clearance just cannoned off the heel of the unfortunate Louis Barry, who had his back turned. Kamara, first time snapshot from just inside the box. Adai may well have had it covered though. Anderson, Flint. Oh, he's given away. Pounced upon by that man again. Barry with a shot from the. just inside the box. Fingertips from the keeper. Corners of County. Yeah, hospital pass, wasn't it, from Flint, careless, right across the edge of his own penalty area. Barry onto it in a flash, and... We've got a break on Crawley down the right-hand side here, and it's Hepburn Murphy leading the charge. He's got real pace, but so has Adam Arola. And he's kept up with him and regained possession. What a match he's having, by the way. The Crystal Palace left wing back. What and a that's a ball. super pass from Norwood to find Louis Barry. He's got two defenders with him. He won't care. He'll roll it back to Norwood. Oh, he should have scored. It was a brilliant ball. He's not renowned for his goal scoring, Ollie Norwood, but he can strike it so well. And he'll be disappointed not to have hit the target from there. It stays 1 0. Yeah, they stuck Kelly out left. Hepper Murphy right, swan through the middle still. As, uh, oh, Darcy made a great run there. Just flicks the ball, trying to guide it past Adai. It was a, an instinctive effort from Darcy. And it's the first real piece of goalkeeping we've seen from 
Corey Adai on his return to the Broadfield Stadium, but he did really well there because uh, that was goal bound. Horse fall. Norwood always seems to have time on the ball. Big raking diagonal out to Louis Barry on the left, and he's kept it in play. It's brilliant from Barry. Little back heel then for Adam Roller to cross, and there's Camps off the outside of the post. County denied by the width of the upright. That's took the paint off. It stays 1 0. Yeah, Callum Camp should score, though, John, got to say. Watching it back as well, he's, he's got time as he, as he runs onto it. And that's Adam has gone down, is that a penalty? The referee immediately shook his head. Adam Marola challenged by Hepburn Murphy. Well, Adam Marola was adamant then, wasn't he, that he was brought down. Yeah, Louis Barry still asking the question as well. Well, it is the substitute straight into the wall. You don't often see that a substitute come off the bench and... The first touch is to take a free kick. Oh, he's brought down by Wooden. That will be a penalty. It is. The substitute who took the free kick then got the rebound, took it into the box. It was clumsy from Wooden. Quitina went down. Penalty. I mean, his first touch was dreadful, Quitina, but his second was much better as he just gets away from Adaramola. I guess the frustration is, in terms of the contact, it's very similar to the one on Adaramola at the other end for County that wasn't given. This one was, and Crawley with a great opportunity now to, to level things up. Corey Adai in front of the fans who used to adore him. Facing Quitina. He rolls it down the middle. It may have flicked off the studs of Corey Adai. But the home side have scored their first goal in well over six hours of football. It's come from the penalty spot. And it's Junior Quitina who's got the goal. Torre carries it clear. Well... That looked a foul. It was as much of a foul as the one that led to the penalty being awarded, but it wasn't given. County still have it, though. Camps with a very good through ball for Tanto Alafi to run on to. Alafi, can he get the shooting opportunity? Certainly can. He's won the corner. Yeah, great strength, wasn't it, from Tanto Alafi. Holding off his man. It's on his left foot, looking to squeeze it through the legs of the goalkeeper. Walcott makes a good save. County corner. The keeper spills it. But it's off the line by the defender, it's volleyed back by Horsfall. First attempt was blocked, second one snuffed out now. And a counter-attack could be on here. Callum Camps is there to deny the swift break. That's well, a good run by Onyango, wide right, cuts it back into the box, it comes to Callum Camps! It's a super block on the edge of the six-yard box by Joy McKenna, but County have another corner. Here's Norwood. Just 90 seconds remaining, and Norwood's tried to let his luck from the halfway line. And the keeper wasn't far off his line. Horsefall heads it forward for a Laffey to chase. A Laffey. Was he brought down? Referee doesn't think so. And Ibrahim brings it away. The Crawley Town wins the throw. Whistle goes, it's a point apiece, it's a goal apiece here at the Broadfield Stadium for the second season in a row.